deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! Discretionary tribute to benefit Britannia or exile? I've heard he is. No one's in reason to even want to be told this. You told Bill Gow. That's a lad. Blood from a sorcerer's skull. And it's a sorcerer's blood, of course. Ooh. Ah, Aid a veteran of the struggle against the Black once. Where do you fight? Angrin early on. In Sidaris last, along the banks of the Pontar. So, help me out. I'm looking for the Putrid Grove. Need you to help me find it. Don't know naught about no grove, putrid or other. Don't generally care much for orchardry. This is urgent. Leave me be, I don't know. Sick of it all. Oh, God. A reaper's come for me. Oi, Grey Knight. Need a squire? Arms for the poor. You lame. No chance. Both legs in perfect order. And me arms look like a windmill's wings. There. See me waving them? Looky here. Just look. In my mind, thorough addled. I gotta find the place they call the Putrid Grove. I know it but won't say. I know it but won't say. Why not? Not allowed to say. I would tell you, though, if you didn't push, you weren't so insistent. If you like, come again. Might tell you then. Guess your mind truly is addled. Didn't I say so? me misery good folk and aid a man crippled by misfortune where it is nothing's free in novigrad oh, now the one come bursting with questions now where do you folk gain the idea we beggars know everything i need to see this and i need to find that one who robbed me brother fuck if i know there's this place in novigrad they call the putrid grove aye oh, it's about right well Novigrad's full of nooks and crannies with odd names. Looking to sightsee by a bloody map. Heard men like you frequent this alley. And I've heard they fed you all shit and you smiled and ate it. Now, don't mean no offence. Go in peace. Ain't that the kingfisher? You're sorted for at least two days. You just gotta just the good position where they cut I'm warning you. <laughs> Wobbly. Need some overripe sheep's feet. All right. Give you a crown. Crown's enough, my lord. When your gut's so empty, it's stuck flat to your spine. Could give you more, on one condition. You tell me where you drop your takings for the day. I drop them with me lady. Serious trouble if I didn't. I think you take them to the Putrid Grove. As far as I'm concerned, the King of Beggars can stick his crown up his arse, then shove it even deeper with his scepter. Bugger won't get a broken copper from me. You're either pretty damn brave, or just plain stupid. What's he gonna do? Break me legs? Let him. He takings double as a cripple. 
From what I hear, they'd break your legs just to start. Some coin for me future widow, then. There. Now tell me where the Putrid Grove is. It's the least you could do. I don't know. And believe you me, I don't want to know. God protect. Mug like that. Might get you a copper. Gots to be elegant like me. How will you make a living? We've no monsters. Behavior scam. Ah, <coughs> oh, it's you again. Another chat, same as the first. My mind's thorough addled, but the rest of me spit as a fiddle. So, like I said, I'm looking for the putrid grove. Second time round, your wish is my command. It's that away. There. That away? Meaning where? In lace halls. There's this alley, past the gate. Not at all putrid and not a grove. Fools call it that, but I know better. And anyone can go there? Of course. Unless he forgets to say, the old sow's farrowed piglets might not let you in then, but that's easy enough to say. Listen, the old sow's farrowed piglets. See? Thanks for your help. He's a war veteran. Spare me a crown. Double shades. Hard times we live in. Uh... One drink all I had. Open up. Who are you and what do you want? Doing some sightseeing. Kind of curious about what's beyond this gate. My brother-in-law was curious. Worms. Been eating him for five years now. Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated killer, me thinks. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Now the password, get him free. Don't know it. Gotta to contribute to the Grove's upkeep. Old sow's farrowed piglets. Ah. Welcome to the Grove, brother. Get my ass wet. Mm -hmm. What are you offering? See you. What ails you? Can't see out one eye, my lord. Picked him as rain. Thank you, my lord. The right miracle you've worked, I'd like to repay you. Convince those maids on the city council that spells are not needed on a whim, but positively indispensable. I'm listening, I'm scared of anger. In that case, please convey that if any of them should fall ill, he can stick his head in the flames of the eternal fire. Now, permit me some rest. Bloody hell! Please leave Spare me alone. Spare a cockerel too. Good. 
More and more people come to our secret clinics looking for help. Menga's hand's not scaring them off anymore. I guess incurable disease is more terrifying than torture. In that case, I'll count on more tribute coming in. You already take 80% of what we receive. Aye, oh, but don't forget it's me who secures the nooks and crannies where you and yours can hide. About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you're sitting in ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Hey, Triss. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Your spies tell you I was looking for the Putrid Grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding riverfish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, Putrid Grove? Ugly name for our cosy little hideout, wouldn't you say? So what would you call this dive? Dunno. The Garden of Liberty, maybe? For a man who shakes down beggars and thieves for tribute, you're quite the romantic. You say tribute, I say taxes. You say thieves, I say hard-working street clerks. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition, farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start anew. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Come on, let me give you a taste of my life.